Good day everyone, Matthew Scudder from SkySight. Today we're going to be talking about the point windgram feature. So this is a really popular feature amongst our paraglider users, uh, while our sailplane and hang glider users don't seem to really have discovered it yet. Um, I really like it because it gives us a nice summary of the day, uh, but in more of a chart format than a table format. So if you're familiar with the vertical profile, or the skew t, which shows us a chart for a single location with the temperature and the dew point there, um, the windgram is kind of like this chart, except it shows us in one chart all of the hours of the day, what the vertical profile might look like. So we use it just by clicking point windgram, selecting the location we'd like to look at, let it think for a little while, and there we have it. So here we're looking at lapse rate. So this is actually a measure of the stability of the atmosphere. So we can see nice unstable layer here in the pinks and the purples all the way up to 5,000 meters or so. We can see the inversion layer here. We can see later in the day a surface inversion forming. So the end of thermals at about 5 p.m. here. Um, we've got the wind barbs over the top currently. If we want, we can disable them. It can make it a little bit easier to read. We can instead have a look at the relative humidity. And this is showing us again through all the hours of the day, 8 a.m. till 9 p.m. We can see through to about 2 p.m. there's all of this moisture at high altitudes here between about 5,000 and 18,000 feet here. But uh, in the afternoon it's really dry. And you can see it starts drying out around the 5,000, 6,000 foot layer. And then the dry air gets larger and larger until we should have mostly clear skies above 5,000 feet. But down below we've got still quite high humidity, 67% relative humidity there. We can have a look at the wind speed as well, and we can see throughout the day in the morning to about 3 o'clock, we can see very, very strong winds through this area and all above. But then we see at heights below 10,000 feet, after about 3 o'clock, the wind speeds really start to drop off above. Whereas in the lower layers down here, we can actually see in the morning, it's quite weak winds between 0 and 5,000 feet. But then after about 4 o'clock, we see the wind really starting to pick up into the 30, 35 knots there. So that's the windgram feature. Uh, as with all of the point features, we can just move that around to get a chart for a different location. We've got a bunch of other parameters you can look at here. They're not as useful, I think, as the lapse rate and relative humidity. The cloud one here shows us areas of explicitly resolved cloud, so it will only show quite significant cloud. It won't show little cumulus layers or thin layers of cloud. And that's all the functionality we have for the windgram layer.